happened. Plenty of policemen on hand to watch over him and a motorcade to escort him to the courthouse. The hearing was adjourned almost as soon as it was started. There's talk of a deal which would allow the former president to appear before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission behind closed doors. The negotiations I, I have just heard relate to his appearance before the commission. We do not seek to humiliate him, we do not seek to prosecute him. One must first but nothing is certain apart from the fact that the case has rekindled Mr. Boerta's long dormant political career. He's become something of a hero for many Afrikaners who are turning to him in growing numbers. He's become a sort of a symbol for probably 70 or 80 percent of all Afrikaners across the uh, political uh, lines as the one man with the guts, they think, to stand up to the ANC. P.W. Boerta presided over some of the most violent years of the apartheid era. That is why the Truth Commission wants to talk to him. How much did he know about what his security forces were up to? We have had a lot of uh, foot soldiers, you know, of the old regime, uh, speaking almost in their individual capacities, but we have not had the politicians, you know, their masters, coming forward and, and taking responsibility for what happened. It's clear that both the Truth Commission and the government want to avoid what could be a very divisive trial. But any deal that even appears to let P.W. Berta off the hook will damage the Commission's credibility. George Alagaya, BBC News, George. A colony of termites capable of chewing through entire buildings has been discovered in Devon. And so far, powerful insecticides have failed to kill them. Termites are commonly found in the south of France, but in recent years they've been moving steadily north with growing numbers in Paris. But this is thought to be the first time the insects have been found in Britain. Saunton Sands is a beautiful part of the southwest. Its temperate climate makes it an ideal place for a retirement or holiday home. But the present guests in this one are uninvited and unwanted. In fact, some four years ago it was thought they'd been got rid of for good. Not so, because now they're back and they're hungry. Termites, thousands of them, have decided that this property near Barnstable is good enough to eat, literally. The walls in the kitchen show the telltale trails of the nocturnal feasting by the wood-eating pests. Their natural home is southern Europe, but it's thought this infestation of the ant-like, earwig-sized insects began when some were imported on a pot plant by a previous owner some years ago. The first colony was found beneath a bedroom floor. This latest outbreak is in the kitchen. When we exposed it, there were tens of thousands of live termites. You've got to bear in mind these are a nocturnal insect. The minute they were exposed to the light, they ran down the timbers, out underneath the sand floor, which we've got over there, uh, which is obviously where we think their nest actually is. Now it's exposed, you're not going to see the termites. They might come out at night, uh, but nobody's actually been here to have a look at night. And this is the termite. There are more than 2,000 species. 100 times more destructive than woodworm, they're among the most damaging pests known to mankind. In Australia, huge mounds can contain millions of them. They can cut off power by eating through cables. In America, they cause more damage to property than floods and fires combined. So will Britain suffer as badly? Government experts say the North Devon infestation is small and poses little risk. But pest controllers first alerted to it say the building research establishment should have done more to eliminate it then. They recommend demolition as the best way forward now. The Environment Department says it's not aware of any other outbreaks in the UK. It's closely monitoring the situation. But local people fear that in the meantime, the termites may also be eating into the area's property prices. Clarence Mitchell, BBC News. And Dr Tony Russell-Smith is an entomologist at the Natural Resources Institute in Chatham, specialising in insect pests. He joins me from there now. Uh, Dr Russell-Smith, just how dangerous, or well, dangerous, but how much damage can these things do? They can do a, a very great deal of damage. Um, although the insects, the individual insects, are very tiny, as your reporter said, their colonies are, are very big indeed. They can run into tens of thousands. And it's a question of a lot of small mouths doing a great deal of damage over time. And what are they doing here? What they're doing is they're feeding on the timbers of the house, um, but what they do is they feed inside the timber um, so that you don't actually see the insect um, often until a great deal of damage has already been done. Well, what I really meant, well, that was a pretty frightening picture, but what I really meant is how have they got to this country, do you think? 
Um, I think, as your reporter said, the, it's very likely that they've been imported uh, in um, some wooden structure. I gather that the uh, plants um, that were mentioned were imported uh, in some sort of wooden container, and it's very likely that they came in in that. And presumably, once they're here, they can spread? They can spread uh, within a building, but they're quite incapable of surviving um, our winters outside. So um, although they will spread within the immediate locality of the building um, where it's reasonably warm, they wouldn't spread on their own um, outside that. And what can be done to kill them? Because it seems to be proving very difficult to get rid of them from that particular house. Well, of course, it is difficult to get rid of uh, these termites because they are boring inside the timber. And for that reason, it's often difficult to know what part of the timbers of a house are actually infested by the termite. Um, you could get rid of, rid of them, as, as the report said, by actually demolishing the house. I think that's probably a little bit extreme. Well, if you're prepared to treat all the timbers, that should, in fact, kill the termites. Dr Russell Smith, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. And that's all this Tuesday lunchtime from the 1 o'clock news. Good afternoon.